My name is Man Xu, and I come from China. And uh, I, uh, my bachelor degree is uh, uh, theater production, and I got it from the Central Academy of Drama. And now I'm starting the web design and new media in Academy of Art University. And I want to be a UI or UX designer in the future. And this is my portfolio of uh, an app for help people can bottling their useless items online. And this one is my visual identity design. Last semester, I got three C ideas from my 643 class. The first one is help people studying vocabulary. And the, last, the second one is starting Bible with puzzle game. And the last one is the app for help people, uh, allow people can shopping online. And then I got my primary ideas that I want to create an app for help children practice their spelling skill at home. And at the same time, it will have education simulation system for of monsters to encourage users to keep starting. Uh, when I got my primary ideas, uh, I did some survey online. And uh, the first question is about spelling issue with language development when the children are five to six years old. And uh, a lot of parents told me they are, the, uh, their children had a very um, in, uh, the spelling issue when they are uh, five to six years old. Also, when the uh, parents, uh, they was the five to six years old, the, sa the, the same age, they, are, uh, they, they also have the same question when they starting language. And then um, with this uh, question, I interview an uh, expert. Uh, Sharon is an assistant education professor. She's come from uh, Eastern Oregon University. And uh, she told me the most children at age five to six years old have a working knowledge of expre uh, expressive vocabulary and uh, receptive vocabulary. However, at the this age, most children are at the beginning stage of learning about the graphic res uh, representations of language reading and writing. It means the five to six years old children will begin to develop math, reading, and other academic skills at school and at home. But there are a lot of five to six years old children have the spelling problems also, they can read and understand a lot of words from parents, TV shows, or books. This, the issue will have negative effect uh, when they enter the elementary school. So I want to create a project to help kids uh, pra uh, practice their spelling skills. And uh, also the project would make the interesting interactive system for children. And uh, it will use small games to help children to practice spelling skill. And also I got the inspiration from a children's storybook. The name is Jake and the Beanstalk. And when we, uh, before we move on, uh, let's we watch a video of my concept. Let's move on. And uh, I got uh, three competitors from the Apple Store. The first, the name is Mad Snacks. 
Uh, it is a general English starting app for kids and it has a lot of interesting games for the user and uh, when they're starting. And also it has very good animation allow user to play with it. And another one is a Chictionary and uh, it is a real puzzle game and uh, it uh, also, it had a very interesting visual design and the storyline, but it's not for kids and it's not for study. The last one is Loopmo. Loopmo is a building kit of handcraft animation and the songs. And it's, uh, it has very good game mode and uh, it has very good game vision for the kids, but it's just a music game for under five years old kids. Uh, next is my matrix. The matrix, uh, I list five points in the matrix. The first is general language education, and second is spell, uh, spelling. The third is choose level, and fourth is voice, and the, the last one is animation. Uh, from this chart, we can see the uh, math snack is very, it, it is a very good general English education app and also it allows users can choose which level they want and uh, it has very good animation and for the loop mode it's just a, a music game app so it has very good voice and the animation and for the Chictionary uh, it, it is just for spelling and uh, for my project I want to focus on the spelling and uh, I will use a user can choose which level they want and uh, it will have the pronunciation of each word. And it will have the good animation for the interactive. And I want, uh, my project is for kids. So uh, for my primary uh, target audience, I choose these colorful and cute monsters in my mood board. And my primary target is five to six years old children, and they they can they want to practice spelling skill with game and use the app. Also, the secondary target audience is their uh, parents because the parents will help children download the app from the app store, and they will pay for the app. And I did research about the vocabulary development in school age children from the two charts we can see when the children are the five to six years old, their vocabulary size will increase very fast. And it means it is a very good opportunity to uh, when children starting and uh, develop some of the skills. But when they develop the vocabulary skills, the language and uh, they will face to uh, some of the challenges. The biggest challenging is the writing, spelling, and the reading. And on the other hand, the spelling is the foundation of the writing. So if the spelling has some issue and uh, they will, uh, it will be have the negative effects when they starting writing. And uh, mm, I, my project will on the smart device. So I want to know what the kids are doing with the smart device. Uh, for during my research, the 17% children they are playing game when they with a smart device, and the 15% the children will learning with a smart device. Also, the touch screens is the, uh, is the most frequency of play tap. After those research, I did my uh, prototype and uh, also I did the two rounds user testing. This is the first one and this is the, uh, the second one. Uh, after the user testing, um, I found a big question like what uh, the smartphone or the tablet, which one is a better uh, for the kids. So I did this research about children's use of the tablets. The uh, 
five to 50 years old children, there are 62%, they, are, you, they always use a tablet. And the interesting thing is one in three children now own a tablet, and 71% of children live in a house with a tablet. So from this chart, we can say the same, uh, the same things. The tablet is good for the smartphone for kids. And this is my two persona. The, the key persona is Tom. He is five age and he is living in San Francisco. And he is boy and uh, he like playing game. And Tracy is my secondary persona. Uh, she is uh, 16, uh, sorry, she, she is six age and uh, she is a girl and she like watching cartoon. Um, Tom is interested in enjoying playing game and watching cartoon, and uh, he read book by himself. But spelling is a big challenge for him, and he want to practice spelling skill. But the regular math makes him feel boring, and he uh, and he wish he can play games. At the same time, he can practice his uh, the spe uh, spelling. So. Um, this is a task flow of my key persona, and um, uh, Tom is a new user of my project. So he asked his mother help her download the uh, app for he uh, for uh, on the tablet, and then he can log in the app and choose the level. Then Tom is going to spell vocabularies by game. If he achieved the goal, he can feed his monster. And um, this is the landing page of my app. And Tom just can, uh, click the star. And then he can choose the which level he want. Because Tom is, Tom is a new user, so he will start the game from the level one. And uh, this is the game page. And uh, uh, each level have five words need spelling, and the user has one minute to finish the game. Also, the system will give the pronunciation of each word to user. Uh, in the game, the user just need to drag the alphabet which one he want from the random list to the uh, blank list. And if he get the right answer, the monster will move up, and he will get a P. If the user forget the pronunciation, uh, he can click the repeat button, and uh, then the system will repeat the words. When the timeout, the game is finished. If user gets four or five right answer, the monster will move to the level two. User can choose a new level in the tree page. At the lo last, the user can use a P. He, get, uh, he got them from the uh, game and uh, feed the monster and help the monster give up, uh, grow up. If the monster get enough pits, it will grow up. This, uh, and for my secondary persona, the Tracy is starting spelling and uh, practice the skills use app. And it means uh, Tracy is my old user because using app to practice is interesting. The traditional way is boring and uh, she always ignore it. And for this text flow, uh, the important things, I will show you the uh, if the user get the wrong answer, what will happen? And Tracy click the star, um, and then he will enter the level which one he is in. And then uh, if she finish filling the blanks in the word, the system will tell the Tracy the answer is not correct. And then the monster will eat the word and speed all of them. At the same time, the random list will be shuffled. Then she can do it again, but she can get a P. If she clicks the puzzle button on the laptop, she can restart game of this level. 
And this is my content plan. The first is a loading page, and the second is a choose level page. And uh, uh, at, at the home page, it will have, uh, you have the setting page. In the setting page, the user can choose turn on or turn off the music and get the help from the help center or reset the game. And in the future, uh, maybe I will allow the user can send the monster's picture to their friends. Um, and this is my logo of my project. Also, uh, which color I choose, I choose and I use in my project. Also, this is the type of face. And this is my content resource. I got them from the expert recommendation. And uh, she told me this book, uh, those books are very good for the uh, children to practice their spelling. For my technical plan, I will use uh, Photoshop and uh, Illustrator to develop my uh, U interface and uh, well frames. Also in the technical, and I will use the CSS and the HTML and the JavaScript, also the jQuery to build my technical part. And uh, for my database, I will use the MySQL and the PHP. And uh, this is my timeline. And I think I need to take the uh, visual design and the user experience design first, because I want to figure out my uh, the problem w uh, in my project and uh, make this uh, make make the two part very strong. And also, I I plan to do um, two rounds user testing. So I got my testing plan and uh, the goals of my testing plan, I want to empty the stress and the weakness of the project and uh, fix them. That's it, thank you.